An American in Paris, released in 1951, is a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences today. What enduring qualities do you think make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? Perhaps it's the enchanting storyline, the memorable performances, or the dazzling choreography that leaves an indelible mark on cinema history. As you reminisce about this cinematic gem, do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some random facts about this iconic film. Did you know that An American in Paris was directed by Vincent Minnelli and starred Gene Kelly, Leslie Caron, and Oscar Levant? It's a testament to the golden age of Hollywood and the artistry that still inspires filmmakers today. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Share your thoughts with us and keep the conversation alive. Your stories add depth to the enduring legacy of An American in Paris. In the 1951 movie An American in Paris, one notable aspect is the song Il Build a Stairway to Paradise. This song is presented as a show tune, unlike the rest of the film's songs, which are seamlessly integrated into the action. In this particular segment, George's Guidry walks up a staircase adorned with showgirls while singing the number. Interestingly, Gene Kelly, one of the film's stars, found it challenging to teach Guidry how to climb the steps while performing without tripping up. Moreover, the shooting of this sequence was complicated by the intensity of the studio lights, which proved too hot for several of the showgirls, leading some to pass out during the filming. This film, credited solely to director Vincent Minnelli, also had an interesting behind-the-scenes development. Minnelli, dealing with personal issues such as his divorce from Judy Garland and other directing projects, left Gene Kelly to take over the directing duties at times. This transition was met with dismay from the cast and crew, adding an unexpected layer to the movie's production. Additionally, Leslie Caron, who played a major role in the film, did not speak English fluently when she landed the role. She had a vague understanding of the language due to her American mother, but she was not conversant. Luckily for her, the part didn't have many lines and mainly involved dancing, a skill at which Karen excelled. These aspects shed light on some interesting facts about the making of an American in Paris and the challenges faced by the cast and crew. They add depth to our understanding of this classic 1951 movie. An American in Paris, the 1951 movie directed by Vincent Minnelli, featured an interesting casting decision. Minnelli initially considered Maurice Chevalier for the role of Henry Borel, but Chevalier's absence from American screens for several years due to questions about his political leanings during World War II made this choice difficult. Moreover, Chevalier had no interest in playing a secondary role at his age. The role of Milo Roberts also underwent a casting dilemma. Minnelli was inclined towards Celeste Holm, but contract player Nina Falk won the part after impressing Minnelli with her reading. While Gene Kelly, one of the film's stars, wanted to shoot on location in Paris, the production took place at MGM Studios in California. The studio faced challenges securing travel arrangements and locations for shooting, resulting in the creation of 44 sets for the film. Surprisingly, only two shots in the movie feature actual Paris locations, and they don't involve Gene Kelly. A noteworthy aspect of the film is the intricate design of the ballet sequences. Irene Shoroff, the costume designer, crafted unique styles for each ballet sequence set, drawing inspiration from various French Impressionist painters. The backgrounds for these sets took six weeks to build, involving the dedicated efforts of 30 painters working continuously. The designs were inspired by artists like Raoul Duffy, Edouard Manet, Maurice Utrillo, Henry Rousseau, Vincent Van Gogh, and Henry de toulouse lautrec each contributing to the movie's distinct visual appeal. In conclusion, An American in Paris, a 1951 classic, faced casting challenges and location shooting obstacles, leading to creative solutions that enriched the film's artistic and visual elements. These behind-the-scenes details add depth to the movie's history and production. Gene Kelly discovered Leslie Caron while vacationing in Paris, where he saw her perform in a ballet. This chance encounter led to her casting in the 1951 movie An American in Paris. The film, known for its famous 18-minute ballet sequence, 
features the ballet with its own credit in the opening titles as in presenting the American in Paris ballet. Prior to making the movie, Gene Kelly screened the red shoes for MGM executives to persuade them to back a dance film. These elements contributed to the success of the film and its lasting impact on the world of cinema. An American in Paris, released in 1951, is a classic musical film that holds a special place in the heart of its star, Gene Kelly. It's worth noting that this movie was Gene Kelly's favorite among all the musicals he ever worked on. The film also featured a character named Adam Cook, who was Jerry's sidekick. Interestingly, this role was written specifically for Oscar Levant, a close personal friend of the film's producer, Arthur Freed, and its director, Vincent Minnelli. Notably, An American in Paris made cinematic history by being the first film to win both the Best Picture Award at the Academy Awards and the Best Picture, Musical or Comedy Award at the Golden Globe Awards. This dual recognition solidified its status as a remarkable and iconic production in the world of cinema. In conclusion, An American in Paris is a beloved classic, cherished by Gene Kelly, and celebrated for its unique place in the film award history, making it a significant milestone in the world of entertainment. In 1951, the movie An American in Paris won the Oscar for Best Picture. This was a surprise to MGM, as they hadn't expected it. In response, the studio ran a full-page ad in the trade paper Variety with their mascot Leo the Lion who admitted, honestly, I was just sitting in the sun, waiting for a streetcar. This was a reference to other movies like A Place in the Sun and A Streetcar Named Desire, which were considered likelier best picture winners that year. This unexpected victory added an interesting twist to the film's history. It's worth noting that Arthur Freed, the producer, saw an opportunity in this project to combine two of his personal favorites, the music of George Gershwin and French Impressionism. This unique blend of music and artistry became a defining feature of the film. Additionally, Gene Kelly directed the captivating Embraceable You sequence in the movie, showcasing his multifaceted talents. In summary, An American in Paris left its mark on cinematic history not only for its artistic achievements, but also for its unexpected Oscar win, creating a memorable moment in the world of film. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of an American in Paris, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this cinematic masterpiece. The year 1951 marked the birth of a timeless gem, a film that transcends generations, and it's fascinating how it continues to touch the hearts of audiences even today. Whether you've been captivated by the graceful ballet sequences, swooned over the captivating melodies of George Gershwin, or simply marveled at the dreamlike depiction of post-war Paris, an American in Paris has a unique place in our hearts. Maybe you've experienced your own personal city of love or danced through life's challenges with the same resilience, and grace is our protagonist, Jerry Mulligan. This is your opportunity to share your favorite memories, the moments that left you in awe, or the emotions that welled up as you watched this cinematic masterpiece. Did you find yourself transported to the charming streets of Paris, or did the film's artistry ignite a passion for dance within you? We'd love to hear your thoughts, your stories, and your connection to an American in Paris. Thank you for your time and interest in exploring the beauty of this timeless classic. Your reflections bring life to the art of cinema, and your memories make the magic of an American in Paris live on. So, please, share your thoughts, and let's keep the spirit of this incredible film alive together.